Uh, we have a letter here uh, from Tom Vincent, who was injured uh, visiting his son down in Alabama. Mike? Okay, uh, to all my friends in the MCCSA, thanks for all your emails, cards, phone calls, and prayers. Life threw, threw, a cur life threw me a curveball. This is the worst year of my life. My wife Sharon passed away and I broke my neck. I can't believe this happened to me at 70 years old. On February 1st, I broke my neck falling off an inversion table onto my head. The foot lock broke. My C6 vertebrae broke the tail off and it hit my spinal cord that left me paralyzed. I was operated on, I'm sorry, I can't see, I can't see it, Dave. I just can't see it anymore. I'm sorry. I'm having to go hard time. I was operated on to fuse my C5 and C6 vertebrae together and have been in therapy since. But luck, I found myself in the University of Alabama Hospital, which is ranked number one in the nation for neck and spinal cord repair and therapy. I am now at my son Matt's house in Millerville, Alabama, and receiving therapy six times a week. I'm walking on a walker every day and getting better at it. Yesterday, I was at Walmart chasing the ladies in my electric cart. <laughs> I am determined to make a full recovery. I should be back in New Jersey by June to catch some trout. I saw three turkeys today. Turkey season opens here tomorrow. To all my friends in the MCCSA, count your blessings and be extra careful. See you in the woods this fall. Tom Vincent. On, on a good note, just to uh, follow up, I did speak to Tom today for about a half an hour, Tom Vincent. And uh, to speak to him, he's got uh, a lot of bounce in his voice. So he, he's very optimistic he's going to be back to 100%. He's got everything working now to some extent uh, his hands are limited so the doctor told him the extremities would first but the the good thing is he's at his son's house um, and where he's at um, i guess to get there it's in the middle of nowhere in the middle of nowhere on top of a mountain and the the therapists that are coming to work on him are are like getting freaked out because they got to drive back this mile road that, that looks like it's going to the house of horror, you know. <laughs> but uh, he's having a good time. And what you spoke about earlier, um, not a member but a friend, uh, Jim Minerick, I spoke to him in person and he's up on his feet and he's back to work. Mm -hmm. All the stuff that was wrong with him, um, mm -hmm. that's hard to, hard to fathom, but um, he's back and around also, so that's a good thing. Good. Good deal for both, though. Good. Okay. Thanks, Doug. Yeah, I talked to Tommy in the hospital on the, before he got out. He was in Birmingham. He was in the best place he could possibly be for his neck. And we were watching a race together on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was pretty animated, put it that way. It was funny.